The special shareholders meeting that was supposed to be starting right now being adjourned. So Dell shareholders are wondering right now, when are they going to have a chance to vote this deal up or down? September 12th is the answer, Eric. That'll be the day that uh, if the courts don't intervene, that'll be the day that the shareholders get to vote on this deal. So that is a big if. We're going to see uh, Carl Icahn continue to press Delaware judges to go ahead and intervene here because what he's going to argue is that they, the special committee has made two major concessions to Michael Dell and Silver Lake on this voting requirement issue. One being the moving of the record date that allows some short-term holders to go ahead and be, become a major, more of a bigger position um, in the potential voting pool. And then you have this relaxation of the voting requirements that will result in the abstentions not counting at all. Both of those factors will make it easier for Michael Dell to win the vote on September 12th. The big question is whether or not Carl Icahn will be successful in stopping that. And I should add, um, there's also going to be an announcement later today, we just learned because we were inside the meeting, um, that there will be an announcement about an annual shareholders meeting. Of course, that potentially sets up a proxy fight between Carl Icahn and Michael Dell. Clearly, Christina, this battle between Michael Dell and Carl Icahn is far from over. Uh, and ultimately, it is up to a judge, perhaps, in Delaware Chancellor a record to decide or at least make some of the decisions that are going to determine whether ICON is or isn't successful. But uh, we should point out, you know, the market is as good a place as any to go to try and get a sense of what's going to happen in the future. Right now, with Dell shares trading above $13.60, the market is effectively saying that the deal is, has a good chance of getting done, isn't it? Yeah, but the market has been uh, quite wrong uh, for some time now, as you and I have talked about. It was it was trading down, you remember, just a, a couple of uh, days ago, significantly, thinking that there wouldn't be a new deal on the table. So, you know, we can't, this is a tricky one, Eric. It's not the typical, it's not the typical series of events that unfold in these kinds of deals. And remember, Delaware, although, you know, under Delaware law, directors can move around and adjourn special meeting dates, they don't like to see this multiple times because it just supports the idea that they're just doing it to give some leverage to the potential buyer here, that being Michael Dell and Silver Lake. And that, that's not something that they like to see. And it really supports Carl Icahn's point, which is you can't do this. You can't rig the system so that one person wins. And were these concessions really legitimate? Did you have to do this? Why couldn't you increase the price of the deal without those very special shareholder protections being removed, Eric. Uh, I should point out, Christina, that the meeting officially has been adjourned, just happened moments ago, so it was supposed to happen at 10 o'clock this morning. It isn't happening. We've seen this play out before. Let's talk right now about what Carl Icahn does next. Is it a certainty, based on Dell's bylaws, that an annual meeting must be held before that date, September the 12th, when Michael Dell's new offer goes to a shareholder vote. And if that's the case, can we assume, can we make the assumption that he will stage a proxy fight? Well, here's the thing. The, the bylaws set up an expectation. The company's bylaws set up an expectation that the annual shareholders meeting has to be held within 13 months of the last one. The last one was July 13th, so you would, you would assume that that means that they have to have an annual shareholders meeting on August 13th. Here's the thing. They actually don't have to do that. Um, what will likely happen is that Carl Icahn will go to court, or a, a, as he has already, he actually has done that already, or other shareholders will go to court and say, we want the shareholders meeting to come before the vote because we would like to launch this proxy fight. In that case, the court gets to decide when the annual meeting uh, will happen. But Eric, like I said earlier, we will know by the end of today when the company decides to hold the meeting, whether or not that passes muster with the court is a different, is a different discussion.